Hey guys, in this video we are going to solve calculus 2 old exam paper math 102 term 182 final exam paper. It has 28 questions. This is the part 1. So we will solve first 14 questions. Let us do the very first question. Here we have to solve this limit uh, expression. So one idea we can convert it to uh, in terms of definite integral. Then we'll solve definite integral. So let us first simplify this one. So we can separate the power of e then we can take e he has nothing to do with the limit and the summation now we can use riemann sum formula so the very first information which we can catch that is the delta x we need delta x at two different places one with i one without i index so clearly 2 over n is an expression that is at two different places one with i one without i so delta x is 2 over n then if you go to the delta x that is with i index there is nothing is adding so a will be zero so now by use the width formula by plugging the value of delta x and a we can catch b so b is 2 and the function involved is clearly exponential so this is our integral very simple exponential antiderivative is as it is so now by using the fundamental theorem of calculus we will first plug the upper limit 2 and then the lower limit after the minus sign so after simplification this one and finally we have this answer so option c is a correct answer now question 2 we have a function in terms of integral we need its derivative at 0 so by fundamental theorem part 1 if we have an integral expression we can catch its derivative by replacing t variable with the upper limit then multiply its derivative minus the lower limit and multiply with its derivative so here upper limit is x square and the variable is t and the lower limit is 3x so by using that formula so upper limit derivative is 2x you clearly see first term is coming from the upper uh, limit and the second term 3x derivative is 3 coming from this lower term but we need at 0 so by plugging 0 so this is simply minus 3 because first term will go to 0 by plugging 0 at the place of x so d option is a correct answer Question number 3. Here we have to solve this integral very easy. We can first split it. We have two terms. So first integral answer is just x by applying upper limit. That will give you pi by 4. Lower limit will give you 0. So and the second integral we can split it. It has an even power. Trigonometric integral. Then we convert its integral power in terms of secant square x minus 1. Then we have two more integral. And the last integral we can further separate. So we have three integral. Last integral is the same like the first one. So its answer is pi over 4. The second integral from the left side we can solve by plugging by substitution secant x, uh, sorry, tangent x equal u. Then dx will be secant square x. So we have answer and secant square x and derivative is tangent x. Applying upper and lower limit, you will end up with this expression. Tangent 0 is 0. Pi by 4 will cancel by pi by 4. Only you will get uh, answer from tangent pi by 4. That is 1. So minus 1 over 3 is multiplying with this one. Minus 1 over 3 plus 1. That gives you 2 over 3. So option B is a correct answer. Okay, question 4. Here this look difficult, but we can make it simple. First substitute u equal to 1 minus x so you will end up with du minus dx so integral will have this form upper and lower limit will shift uh, and minus will come out so by using the minus you will again write it from 0 to 1 so this is just a polynomial expression so you will end up this one by adding 1 to the power and divided by the same number and then you have to plug the upper limit minus the lower limit so that lower limit gives you 0 upper limit gives you these three fractions so its answer is 16 over 1 over 5 so option a is a correct answer question number five the area enclosed by the graph uh, is so let us draw first so this is our region so in x direction this is very easy from 1 to 8 we have to integrate so our integral will have this form from 1 to 8 upper curve is cube root of x and lower curve is 1 over x so integration is very easy first term is a polynomial by adding you will get 3 over 4 times x to the power 4 over 3 second term is 1 over x antiderivative of log x by plugging upper and lower limit 
you will end up with this expression and this simple algebra this is the answers option e is a correct answer here question number six the volume solid of a solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by the curve y equal to x and y equal to square root x half parabola about x equal to 2 let us draw so this is the diagram and this line is the line of rotation so here we can either use washer method or a cylindrical shell method washer method is easy let us use so vertical line is the line of rotation so we have to differentiate with respect to y so we need two radius one outer radius this red one is outer radius from line of rotation to the blue curve so this is simply 8 minus the x component of this curve so that is 8 minus y square and the inner radius is this one blue line so this is simply 8 minus the x component of y equal to x that is 8 minus y so by the formula pi uh, outside and outer radius square minus inner radius square and limit from 0 to 1 so you will end up with this expression so by simplifying you will get this one and further simplification give you this one this is just a polynomial by adding 1 to the power and divided by the same number you will end up by end up with the integral so now we have to plug upper limit 1 lower limit make it 0 so you will end up with this expression and this will give you 38 over 15 pi this is not in the option because there was a type of mistake in the exam paper so exact answer is 38 over 15 next question the average value of the function of this one on the interval so on some interval a function is continuous we can find its average value close interval so every value formula is this one so by using this formula our integral has this form very easy so by substitution we can solve it if we choose x equal in u so dx will be 1 over u du so integral will have this form lower and upper limit will change so by lower limit will become 0 for the new variable and upper limit will become ln x so very simple integral so by applying lower and upper limit by fundamental theorem of calculus you will end up with this expression so option c is a right answer here now question number eight very simple let us solve without limit first so we need integration by parts so u will be x it's a polynomial and sine function go with dv by differentiating u you will get du by integrating dv you will get v so this is the formula uv minus integral of v du so you will end up with this expression so the set integral is very easy its antiderivative is sine 2x over 2 so this is without limit now let us plug the limits so now we will plug pi by 4 as upper limit and 0 as the lower limit you will end up with this expression sine 0 is 0 and 0 make 0 so second bracket goes to 0 from the first bracket you will get the answer uh, cos 90 is also 0 so 1 over 4 is the right answer option A is the correct answer question number 9 here we have to solve this integral so we will first convert it in a sine and cosine form so uh, this will simplify like this one then further simplification if we use the double angle formula for cosine 2x and sine 2x then after simplification it has this form then we can split so we will end up with this integral further split by using the value of tangent squared x and it will have this form so integration of 2 is just 2x and the integration of secant square x is tangent x so this is the answer so option x minus half tangent x plus c option e is a correct answer question number 10 if we have this integral its answer is given in terms of alphabet a b d and we have to find a plus b plus 2 times d so we have to first solve it completely so our integral can be written like this one so here we will use trigonometric substitution a sine theta so a is 4 so 4 sine theta then dx equal to 4 cosine theta d theta by plugging this one and after simplification we have this form 1 minus sine square theta again cosine square theta is cancel the square root so 
1 cosine theta is already outside, so cosine square theta, we will use half angle identity, plus cosine 2 theta, so we have 2 integral, 1 plus cosine 2 theta, 1 integration is just theta, and cosine 2 theta integration is sine 2 theta over 2 theta. Now we have to find the value of theta and sine 2 theta to get answer in terms of original variable. So we will use right triangle which have angle theta. So from the substitution you can see sine theta is equal to x over 4. So x is a perpendicular length and 4 is a hypotenuse. So by Pythagoras theorem it will end up with 16 minus x square square root. Now we can easily find the value of theta. Theta is sine inverse x over 4 and sine 2 theta by using double angle identity can be written like this one. So sine theta value is x over 2 cosine theta value is just square root 16 minus x square over 4. So by simplifying we will end up with this expression. Now we can compare it but we have given. So A is clearly 8, B is 4 and D is 2. So this expression will give you 16. So option B is a correct answer. Question number 11. Here, this is a rational expression. So we can simplify it like this one. So we will have two factors in the denominator. So we can use partial fraction. So one is linear, other is repeated linear. So we have three unknown. This can be written like this one. So by cross multiplying from the left side, so you will end up with this one. Then further it will give you this form. Now compare the coefficient. First coefficient of x square on the left side just 0 and the right side a and b are. Coefficient of x if we compare, so left side again 0, right side have this form and the constant term on the left side is 1, on the right side is a, so a is 1 by plugging a in the first equation give you b and by plugging b in the second equation give you c also a is 1 b is minus 1 c equal 1 so our integral will have this form so 3 integral first one is lane second one is also lane and third y power rule so you will end up with this expression and this give you by using the property of the logarithm you can write a fraction so this is the answer so option a is the correct answer here Question number 12. We have to solve this integral. So here we have to use integration by parts two times. Let's see. So let's say this is i. This is periodic like integral. So let's suppose this is i. So u is cosine ln x then db equal to just dx. So differential of u give you this form and the integral of dv give you x. So the formula uv minus integral of v by plugging the formula you will end up with this expression after simplification you have this form you have to do one more time integration by parts so again u will be sine ln x and dv is just dx its differential is this one and v coming from the integral of that one so again by using the formula so i has this form now if we simplify you see the last integral is just the i from where we have started by replacing the value of i this one and i can be shifted on the left side so 2i by divided 2 you will have this expression so 1 over 2x cosine log x plus 1 over 2 time x sine its argument is ln x so option b is a correct answer here Question number 13 is improper integral. So we have to solve this one. So we know we make a use of a limit. Upper limit will be replaced by the variable t and t goes to infinity. This is very simple. We know this integral. This is just tangent inverse. The formula. So 2a is 2. So by plugging this one, you will end up with this expression. Now by using fundamental theorem of calculus, you will have two terms. By plugging t and 1, tangent inverse 1 is pi by 4. Now you plug the limit, so limit will not affect the second, that is a constant. First term give you a limit expression by plugging infinity, so this is pi by 2. So pi by 2 minus pi by 4, you will end up pi by 8. 
so it converges to pi by 8 so option c is the correct answer okay question number 14 the length of the curve so arc length we have to find everything is given so by plugging the formula pi by 2 to pi by pi by 4 to pi by 2 and we are using the direction of x so the derivative of the curve is this one one over sine cosine that is cotangent x so by using the identity this is cosecant square that cancel the square root you will end up with this expression so clearly option a is the correct answer here okay these are the first 14 question for the remaining 14 question you can see the part 2 of the final exam term 182